Bob, how is, uh, how is, hey. how is uh, Mike Harley doing? We saw him out there today. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's good to go. Good to go. He's doing good. What did you feel like you learned about your crew from game one? Here? Well, I hope they build a little a confidence. Um, you know, Alabama is a, <clears throat> it's a team that, you know, it's one of the best there is. So when you go and you get, the, as we say in the coaching business, you get your oil check, you kind of see where you're at. And uh, I hope uh, guys like X-Man and, um, and Keyshawn gain some confidence knowing that, you know, they can catch balls, they can get open down the field, they can get on the other side of, of really good people. So that's what we gained out of it. When you guys broke down the film and got through the whole game, you know, how would you uh, summarize the overall feeling of the coaches um, when you, you know, look at the big picture of the game? Yeah, you know, competed well. Um, and then we just got to clean up a bunch of details. Um, that's a, a tough opponent in your first game. It, it's very tough because <clears throat> you can get the feeling that just all of your base, base stuff is going to be, you know, it's going to be hard to, to just run your flat out base stuff against them because of the type of players and athletes that they have. So you feel like, you know, you got to do some scheming when you play in, in teams like that. And so when you, have a little bit more scheme, you have more details. And so um, that was the big thing was, uh, you know, we just got to clean up a lot of detailed stuff. And is that kind of like, just to follow uh, what you're saying, because I, you know, I, I see what you're saying, and did, did maybe because of that and because of the extra uh, stuff that was put into the game plan to deal with an opponent at this level, uh, did that trip you guys up a little bit to where, you know, maybe things weren't as polished in those plays as, as you would have uh, liked? A little, you know, um, you know, like I said, it, for, first of all, the first game's tough anyway. You, like, I've been, this will be my, I don't know, what was it, my 31st or something, first game. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a lot of times I, I hate watching the film after the first game because I already know what it's going to look like. You're going to get a bunch of guys doing some things a little out of character in the first game just because it's the first game. Then when you, you know, have a a game that's on national TV and you're going against that type of opponent, uh, even more players have a tendency to kind of get outside the framework a little bit uh, and, you know, and play with a little bit more of emotion than they normally would. Um, and so that could contribute to not being a little more detail-oriented like, like you w want to be. Um, so hopefully from this week to this, you know, first week to this next week, we're going to get those things cleaned up. Uh, I think that we ran some. I think, you know, we had the one, the, the um, sack, we had one. I, I don't know if you remember D. Wiggins getting on the other side of some guys. That was an, in, there were several intended deep balls. I'll say that. So there were several called and intended. Um, just some things happened to where we just didn't get it down the field. You know, I thought uh, for who we were playing, and being in the first game, you know, like I said, you have a tendency to lose your details in the first game, you know, uh, with my experience watching guys, especially at the receiver position, they turn their heads too early instead of really trying to work on restacking a guy, uh, little things like that. They, they quicken everything up. Their routes are always shorter in the first game than what they're supposed to be, so it doesn't look like you appear to push the defense down the field. Uh, let's suppose you have a 20-yard comeback, you know, you may run it in 12 at 12 and so things like that uh, may have contributed but uh, we did have some we did have some deep balls called for sure I wanted to ask you about Keyshawn and, and yep. Charleston just kind of first games you know starting and just curious yeah you know I was proud of Keyshawn especially proud that uh, outstretched hands across the middle of the field on that fourth down that's a tough catch right in the triangle of three uh, defenders and stuck his arms out without any flinch or whatever and caught the ball and then stuck his foot in the ground and tried to get upfield um, so that was really good to see. Um, you know, I think, you know, Charleston um, just got to constantly with him. Um, fast guys, fast guys um, have a tendency to just believe I can just outrun everybody. And so when they, when they, you know, you get into college, especially guys that are really, really fast in high school, they get here and they think they can just run. There's so much to running a deep ball. I could give a 50-minute dissertation on how to run a deep ball properly. Uh, you have to do all kinds of details, restacking. There's a certain point in time down the field when you turn your head back to the quarterback. You can't do it too early. You can't do it too late. 
Um, and so, you know, what I saw out of him is, is you know, those details, um, just some of them not showing up. And, and they will. They will as the season goes on. I, I know that from experience. Restrepo, uh, what did you see in him, you know, one more year? What, what I've seen of him every single time we've ever scrimmaged and played real football. That man is a, uh, he's a football player. He shows up every time that we put the ball down and we play football. Um, he always finds a way to score a touchdown, it seems like. So I kind of knew he was going to, um, he's going to make plays. He's, he's going to be open and he's going to fight his butt off. He's going to dive for balls. He's going to do everything it takes. He's a natural guy inside. He has a good feel for defenses. He's, he's a, really smart. Um, so I kind of wasn't surprised that he kind of had a, a good game. Your freshman, you know, obviously you don't start against yeah. him in the game against Alabama. Yeah. One thing, but you've heard so much about them. Are they close, would you say, to maybe getting into the rotation? And have any one of them in particular edged ahead of the um, I think they're, they're definitely a lot closer. Um, you know, you saw, um, you know, Romello um, has shown some great flashes that uh, – he is a guy that when the ball's in the air, I, I, like, like X, I kind of know. You kind of know what's going to happen. I feel the same way about Romello. The thing is about playing freshman is <clears throat> playing wide receiver, you can't just line up there and say, get open, then you throw him a pass. There's so, so many things that goes involved in kind of not putting the quarterback in a bad situation because as a quarterback, you got a bunch of guys coming at you just trying to kill you, right? And so you drop back. You expect a picture out there to be exactly like it is in practice every single time. The, with four different guys doing it, it's all got to look the same. And so when he gets back there and then it changes on him, it makes the quarterback flinch. And that's where we're at right now with the freshmen. We got to make sure that we're taking care of our quarterback by doing everything right so we don't make that quarterback flinch and all that stuff. And they're getting closer. Um, and I think that uh, you're, you're going to see that here soon. Yep. Was there anything from Saturday against Alabama, you know, in the moment it may not felt as great, but you watch the film, you're like, hey, that's actually a lot better than it felt like, and I guess maybe you can kind of carry over to the game after they uh, Yeah, you know, I saw some guys, um, you know, competing, you know, and feeling like they belong, and they belonged on that stage, which they should. Um, so I saw that. I was proud of them. Like, like I said, Keyshawn, X, not intimidated, not uh, coming back to the sideline. X, every time he came back to the sideline, coach, I got him on this. I can beat him on this. I got him on this. Uh, it wasn't a surprise, you know, and so I saw that with, with several of my guys I was proud of. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.